Santa needs help. It was the day before Christmas. The Sky Folks were playing in the snow at Sky Park. Senior Rain, Hedgehog Thunder and Pig Hailstone had a football match. Mr. Wind joined in too. Yeah! shouted Senior Rain. My ball! Pass over here! shouted Pig Hailstone. Mr. Frost jumped off the bench in the snow. Madame Flash, Sun Turtle and Snow Rabbit cheered him on. Jump! Jump! shouted Snow Rabbit. Babo Fog came running over. I want to jump too! he shouted. I'm next! said Sun Turtle. They had a lot of fun. Ho, ho, ho! All of a sudden, Santa Claus and his reindeers appeared. Ho, ho, ho! Good afternoon, Sky Folks! shouted Santa. Hello, Santa! How are you? asked Madame Flash, surprised. Did we forget Christmas? Asked Snow Rabbit. That cannot be, <coughs> said Pig Hailstone. My calendar would tell me. No, 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 it's not Christmas yet, said Santa. I need your help. Of, of course. course. How can we help? Asked Mr. Wind. All my little helpers are thick, said Santa. Oh, oh no! <coughs> so, no Christmas this year, said Madame Flash. I need your help finishing the presents, baking cookies and everything else we need for Christmas. Just a few things, really. Oh, and the snow machine. Hmm, it's broken too, said Santa. We can help with that, said Snow Rabbit. And we can help with cookies, said Sun Turtle. And we help with presents, of course, said Bubble Fork. Yes, we cannot cancel Christmas, said Madame Flash. The poor children. Oh, thank you, thank you, said Santa. Here are my lists. And remember, tomorrow is Christmas. Need to go. Ho, ho, ho. Madame Flash picked up the star list. We need to make stars, she said. Many, many, many stars. How many? asked Senior Rain. Seven hundred thousand millions said Madame Flash. That is a lot, said Hedgehog Thunder. And cookies, shouted Sun Turtle. Butter cookies. She stood on the bench and looked at a long list. How many? asked Mr. Wind. An awful lot, said Sun Turtle. I don't know if my bowl is big enough. Snow Rabbit, Mr. Frost and Pig Hailstone looked at the snow list. See how many trucks full we need, <coughs> asked Pig Hailstone. Far too many to say, <coughs> said Snow Rabbit. I have never made so much snow in my life. Bubble Fork picked up the present list. OMG! And you have not even seen that yet! He shouted. We have cars to screw together. 
Dolls need hair. Grains to carve. Many presents to wrap. And balls to inflate. We will work on this till summer. No, said Madame Flash. We cannot have Christmas in summer. We have to finish by tomorrow. Impossible, said Mr. Wind. We will make it possible for the children, shouted Senor Rain. For the children! For the children! The reindeers came back and delivered many boxes and baskets and sacks. We better get cracking, shouted Madame Flash. Tomorrow is Christmas. Madame Flash and Senor Rain carried the star material. Sun Turtle and Mr. Wind transported the cookie ingredients. Don't break the eggs, said Sun Turtle to Mr. Wind. Snow Rabbit, Mr. Frost and Pig Hailstone dragged the magic snow powder along to Winter Lane. Bubble Fog and Hedgehog Thunder were loaded high with hairless dolls and trucks without wheels. We could just give every doll a hat. No need for hair, said Bubble Fog. And when they lose the hat, what will the children think? asked Hedgehog Thunder. Dolls have no hair, said Bubble Fog. No shortcuts, shouted Madame Flash. At Winter Lane, Snow Rabbit and Mr. Frost went straight into the snow lab. Pig Hailstone prepared the empty toy trucks. A short time later, the door opened and a new truck fully loaded with snow was pushed out. Pig Hailstone took it across the lane and unloaded it. Many hours later, a huge mountain of snow, higher than all the houses, was ready. Oh, we are done, <coughs> said Pig Hillstone and sat down. Yes, said Snow Rabbit, we have done it. Mr. Frost looked at the snow list. Maybe not yet, he said and unrolled it. Oh no! said Snow Rabbit. That's another mountain of snow. I'm tired, <coughs> wailed Pig Hailstone. The children need the snow, said Mr. Frost. Come on. They went back into the lab and continued. Bubble Fog and Hedgehog Thunder Study their list. Where do we start? asked Hedgehog Thunder. I think the balls. We do them first, said Bubble Fog. I run over to Senor Rain and get the pumps. Back soon. Okay, said Hedgehog Thunder. I start with the hair. He looked at the list. The toy cars need hair. When Bubble Fork came back with the pumps, he could not see Hedgehog Thunder. Where are you? He called. Here, said a hill of hair. Can you help me? Bubble Fork looked for Hedgehog Thunder. Ah, here you are, he shouted. Where are the dolls? asked Bubble Fog. Dolls? No, the hair go on the trucks, said Hedgehog Thunder. He proudly showed Bubble Fog 
a very hairy truck. Looks good, said Babu Folk. Together they pumped up the balls, one after the next. They built a mountain with the balls, a ball mountain. Looks good too, said Hedgehog Thunder. Mr. Wind blew by the ball mountain. Oh, I really like that, he said. Can I have one? No, the balls are for the children, said Papo Folk. Okay, said Mr. Wind. I go back to help Sun Turtle. He blew around the ball mountain. Don't! shouted Bubble Fork, but it was too late. The ball mountain tumbled. The balls rolled down to Sky Road, Winter Lane, and all the way to Sky Park. Bubble Fork and Hedgehog Thunder ran after them. Sorry, said Mr. Wind. Should I help you? No, no, thanks, Mr. Wind. You go and bake cookies. We get the balls, said Hedgehog Thunder. Outside Sun Turtle's house, paddling pools were filled with cookie dough. And Sun Turtle ran back and forth to her oven. Cookie sheet number 274, nearly ready, she shouted. Can you pack them in the bags, please, Mr. Wind? Of course, said Mr. Wind and got to work. He packed three eggs in each cookie bag. Madame Flash and Senior Rain made stars, red stars and golden stars, and a few green stars. I can't see stars anymore, said Madame Flash. My eyes hurt too, said Senior Rain. Should we have a break? Oh yes, great idea, said Madame Flash. I would love to eat some butter cookies. She had an idea. She flashed over to Sun Turtle's house and took two of the cookie bags and flashed back. Here are some cookies, she shouted and handed it to Senior Rain. Great, said Senior Rain. He opened the cookie bag and took one out. It's an egg, he said. What? asked Madame Flash. She looked into her cookie bag. Three eggs. Where are the cookies? Madame Flash and Senior Rain went to Sun Turtle's house. I think something is wrong said Madame Flash. She held up the cookie bag with the eggs. Eggs? asked Sun Turtle. Now I know where all the eggs have gone. But Mr. Wind, why? You said so, said Mr. Wind. Pack three per bag. I said three cookies per bag, said Sun Turtle. Oh, okay, I will change it, said Mr. Wind. Children will like cookies more than eggs. Bubble Fog and Hedgehog Thunder ran by chasing balls. We are working on it, shouted Bubble Fog. I think we have a problem said Madame Flash. I think you are right, said Sun Turtle. We could just work on one list at the time, said Senior Rain, and 
all of us. Sounds like a plan, shouted Madame Flash. Okay, balls first. What about the dolls? asked Mr. Wind. They need hair, said Bubble Fog. I can do that in no time, said Mr. Wind and swirled around the dolls. Done! Great! shouted Hedgehog Thunder. Now the trucks, they need wheels, not hair. Mr. Wind swirled again and in no time the trucks had wheels. Can you do the same for the stars? asked Sanyo Rain. Of course, said Mr. Wind. Wow, said Madame Flash. What is missing? Cookies, said Sun Turtle. With so many helping hands, the cookies were packed a short time later. What is missing? asked Madame Flash, stuffing another cookie in her mouth. Snow, shouted Mr. Wind. Oh yes, we need to help at Winter Lane said Papa Folk. They went over to Winter Lane. Snow mountains to the left and snow mountains to the right. That is a huge amount of snow, said Hedgehog Thunder. Pig Hailstone pushed a blue truck loaded with snow. He looked exhausted. Do you need help? asked Madame Flash. Yes, please, said Pig Hailstone. Senior Rain and Hedgehog Thunder helped in the lab. The others helped pushing snow trucks. It took a while, but finally it was done. We have done a great job, he said. But I'm so tired. They all went home and fell asleep. They missed Santa and the reindeers picking up snow, cookies and presents. They missed the reindeers giggling at hairy drops. And Santa playing football at Sky Park. Before Santa and the reindeers left, they made the village all Christmassy. With trees and lights and presents. Have a Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho!